Sir. And this is what I get in return. Sir. I don't work in a fancy hospital in Manhattan. Yeah. Put your hand yeah. down, sir. I work in Newark. That's a 2401. We're coming in with a 20-year-old man. Multiple gunshot wounds to the chest and abdomen. ETA's four minutes. Yeah, we have another multiple Six. gunshot wounds with somebody who is hemodynamically unstable. Arrival to trauma. Arrival to trauma. They're here. All right, I need, Julie, I need you to do the primary survey. Make sure there's a cord is ready to go, a chest tube ready to go. GSW times three. Two to the left flank, one to the left side. Okay. I want to see him. Hey, it's too loud in here. I want to see him move all his extremities, please. Give him a sternal rub. Hard, hard. Good, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Go ahead and intubate him. This guy came in unstable. He was shot multiple places along his right side and then through the back and then his lower extremity. Let's go. As soon as they get that endotracheal tube in, I want that uh, chest tube in. I am the conductor of the trauma bay. Just do it. For me, it's a rush. Let me just look at this heart. I like those quick decisions. You have to think, think, think. Can you get the chest x-ray, please? What's concerning on this x-ray is that there is some question whether or not we're seeing some fluid around his heart. In order to make sure that the bullet didn't go through his heart, we're going to have to uh, take a look inside, probably. I'm just going to go tell the family. And, yeah. This is the doctor. No, 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 no. Are you the family of Riley? Yes. Yeah. Who am I talking to? Are you the mom? So my name's Adam Fox. I'm the trauma surgeon. Your son is alive, OK? okay thank you. He was shot in his left chest area. And there's definitely injuries to both sides on his lungs, and there may be a possible injury to his heart. I'm not sure oh, yet. God. So he got shot three times? Three times. I don't know how many times he got shot. He has multiple holes on his body. It's hard oh, to say. God. He is doing reasonably well. Okay. Uh, we're going to bring him over to the CAT scanner right now, and then he might have to go up to the operating room for us to look at his heart. And uh, as soon as we get some more information, we'll let you know, OK? OK, thank you. OK. What's up, he's Heart rate's dropping? Yeah. So let's take him to CAT scan, run through his chest and abdomen. It affected his lungs, and then it broke part of his spine. Kind of missed his aorta. Guy's really lucky. Hey, everything looks fine. We're not going to take him. We're going to watch him. He's going to go to the unit. So um, the major wound broke part of his spine on the as it traveled across the back and then injured the lung on the right side. But it missed his heart and it missed his uh, great blood vessels um, because otherwise he actually probably would not have made it to the hospital even. And I think right now uh, we're going to be able to avoid an operation on him. All right? Thank you. Yeah. So he should do OK. That kid who came in with the multiple gunshot wounds is doing very well. You know, the one with the big family. To know that your child might be dead, it's a feeling I can't even explain. No, it wasn't the case, so. I feel like I have a new life, you know? It's like a new life. What do you think's going on today? Well, I have a feeling I'm leaving. You are. You're so lucky. You're finally getting out of here. Dr. Fox said I have, like, seven to eight exit wounds, so it's like a miracle. That's why my plan is just stop all the nonsense. Can't even explain it. It's indescribable. I'm just happy to be here. I don't like I'm just so happy to be here, you know. My hope is that we saved him and that he'll never come back. Can you put the feet down? But some of our patients who are victims of gun violence tend to come back as repeat customers.